Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. <laughs> What if I told you guys that I had a giant RC car? Now, I'm sure you guys know that, but you, did you also know I have a bunch of Legos? Well, what if I told you guys that the sun was in my eyes and it's very bright? And what if I also told you that in today's video, we're gonna be turning my backyard into a massive RC car Lego obstacle course? Yep, that is what we're doing. That is exactly what we're doing. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, we need to build a prototype ramp because honestly, I don't even know if this is gonna work. I don't know if the RC car is actually gonna go over the ramp or just plow through the Legos. <sighs> Let's do it. Now, yes, I know, I know, this ramp is kind of small for this giant RC car, but that's why it's a prototype. Let's test it. Oh, buddy, here we go. It's pretty solid, pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'd have to say that worked. I think it was good. Okay, so we don't wanna go that fast over the Lego ramps kind of demolished now. I think if we take it slow, it'll work. Before we get started on this obstacle course, we really need a blueprint. Our blueprint is just looking super plain. I don't know, we just need something like interesting for it. Hmm, what could we possibly add to our blueprint, huh? Wow, it's still spinning, a loop, okay. So right here, we're going to add a massive loop. I think this is gonna be epic. I don't know how this is gonna work, but yeah. Before the loop, we're gonna add a ramp right here. And we're also going to add another ramp right here going over the hot tub. Let me just draw a little arrows to this so we know what they are. Ramp and ramp. There we go. We got two ramps and a loop. All right, so our blueprint is complete and uh, uh okay. <laughs> so basically what I'm seeing is we're gonna put a ramp right here. The obstacle course is gonna start over there by the bushes or over there. We'll put a ramp right here and then leading into a giant loop right here. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. And then after the loop, we're going to curve around right here and put a ramp right here, jumping over the hot tub and hopefully not going through the fence. All right, well, we really need to get started on this. I personally have no idea how we're gonna pull off this loop, but if somehow we do, or if somehow we don't, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video, guys, and click that subscribe button so you guys can be notified when I do more cool videos just like this. Do it, hit the like button and the subscribe button. It's all down below. It's just, it takes two seconds to do it. Click, 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 done. All right, let's get started on the loop. Okay, so the Lego is looking awesome. The bottom of it can be improved, but this is the first part of the ramp that goes up, and then we're gonna build something over loops around the side and comes out over here somewhere. Now, the reason I'm moving it is simply because it's too big to fit in this little area. So we're gonna have to change up the blueprint just a little bit. Also trying not to break it. Woo, it is getting hot out here. This thing so far is looking awesome. We moved the first part of the Lego ramp right here. So now the RC car is gonna have to start here. I really need to extend the bottom part of the ramp out and make it longer. But basically we're coming up right here and then we're gonna curve it around over and then out right here. Yeah, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. We're gonna put a ramp here and then the loop is gonna be over here. Now hopefully, hopefully this will, this will, oh, 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 okay. All right, there's my blueprint. All right guys, so a little bit of a progress update here. We started building the second ramp and uh, so basically the loop here, let me show you guys. RC car is gonna start right here. RC car is gonna come and then ramp up and around and then out of this loop down here. And then view, ramp, 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 whatever. Also, it's about to rain, so uh, leave a like. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Maybe we get enough likes on this video, it won't rain. That's not really how it works. Uh, toggle downfall. Oh, that was really cringy. You guys are probably looking at this like unspeakable. It is not coming together. Give me um, 45 seconds, okay? Oh my gosh, it worked. Kinda, kinda, a little bit worked. Here is our Lego loop, guys. This thing is crazy. I know it really kinda doesn't look like a loop, but I mean, if you look at it from this angle, keep in mind, guys, I'm not an architect, I'm a YouTuber, but this thing is sick, this is crazy. I don't know what the RC car is gonna do to this thing, but this is the first ramp right here. So you ramp up, it comes up, then around, then out, right? there. This thing is actually crazy. It was honestly very hard to build that middle part. I had stuff falling like four or five different times. I had to rebuild the middle part. This probably took about an hour. Oh, it's hot outside. The Lego loop is complete. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. We have two more ramps to build. We got a ramp to build right here and a ramp to build going over the hot tub. After that, our RC car battery should be charged, fully charged that is, and we should be uh, ready to do this. 
Now we're making the next ramp in the uh, side part of the pool here with the loop being over there. That thing is huge. By the way, that thing is like 600 Legos, just the loop. Now it is time to build our first ramp here. Now this ramp is gonna be um, pretty big. The hot tub ramp is gonna be a lot bigger though. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of blocks to connect. Okay, I'm ready for this. Oh, many Legos! Oh my gosh! This ramp is turning out sick so far, so we're probably gonna build it about up to this height. That will put some pretty good distance on our RC car. This ramp will be about double, if not three times the size as our prototype ramp. All right, here is our ramp. It is complete. I know this thing doesn't look that big, but when that RC car hits it, oh, believe me, it's it's gonna go flying. We only got one more thing to build, which is the hot tub ramp. And this ramp is gonna be two times, if not three times the size of that ramp, because I wanna make sure I can clear this whole hot tub. The hot tub ramp here is complete. I think it turned out really nice. It looks good. It's definitely a lot bigger than that ramp, of course. Now, the thing that's really surprising is this ramp doesn't look that big. However, this ramp right here is like 400 Legos. It looks so small and innocent, but it's like 400 Legos. It's like two boxes of Legos. So if my calculations are right here, this is how many boxes we use. Each box holds about 200 Legos. There's one, two, three, four, five boxes. So literally this course has about a thousand Legos in it. It doesn't even look like there's that many Legos, but oh my gosh. Inside, I still have two more boxes of Legos. So we have like another 400 Legos, but I've been building this obstacle course for probably about four hours now, and I am ready to run the RC car through it. Let's do it. All right, we are putting on the body of our RC car here. There we go. I'm so ready for this. Okay, uh, now I only think we can do this loop once because uh, I think it's definitely gonna fall apart. It's very fragile. All right. Oh my gosh. Three, two, ah! one, go. I'm not ready for this. Are you ready? Go. All right, here we go. Yeah, that really didn't work. Hang on, wait, the loop is still intact. <laughs> we lost a few Legos, but we're good, we're okay. Are you ready? Ready. kind of did it. I mean, it landed right here. It didn't go through it, but like, it kind of did it. Did you see that? That was, that was pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go to our second ramp here. Oh my gosh. Legos are very hard to navigate around. There's Legos stuck under it. Hold on. Get out of there. All right, second ramp. Here goes nothing. That's oh, bad. That's go bad. get it! That's get bad. it! That's bad. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Is it okay? I think it's okay. Oh wait, the throttle isn't working. Oh no! 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 I thought this thing was waterproof. Hold on, let it's me just dead. try to turn it off and turn it back on. It's dead. It's not working. Look, the, the remote's on. It's dead. No, it's not. There's no way. It's dead. No, it's not. <laughs> How do you feel about killing your own RC car? I didn't kill it, it's fine. This thing's a beast. Is give it, it? Give it like five minutes, it just needs to break. No. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> yeah, forget uh, that ramp. Well, yeah. All right, well, let's grab our body because uh, we got one more jump to make. And that's the hot tub jump. And by the way, yeah, this body is extremely messed up. All the paint is falling off. It is just a disaster, but we are ready to do the hot tub jump. Here we go. Let's do it. Come on, buddy. I know you can do this. You've been training for so long. You got this. You right. got this. Do no I? pressure. Do I got this? I literally just need to like floor it. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Oh my gosh, you made it. <laughs> it made it over. I did not think it was going to make it. What a beast. Hold on, I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared of that thing. It literally runs over everything. <laughs> okay, maybe not everything. It needs a little bit of help sometimes. You know, you just gotta kick it in the butt. All right, attempt number two on the hot tub jump. Three, two, two one. one. Oh! So, uh, you know, it still made it. It still made it. It still made it. Uh, the, the first one was a little prettier, but. Oh my gosh, guys. So that has to say that this RC car is ridiculous, but I have one more thing I want to do real quick. 
Let's clear out all the Legos right here because uh, we still kind of have a ramp right now. A little. I, I guess you could call that a ramp. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready to do this? Uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Chill, 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 chill. You can get up now, buddy. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait. I got, I gotta get, I gotta get the best angle for this. All right, hopefully I don't get hit. But three, ready? two, one. Oh! Show off. This is probably a bad idea. This is probably gonna break it, but um, go for it for YouTube. Oh! oh. Perfectly fine though. I almost it's got still, smacked with a Lego. It is still perfectly fine. It just flings us. Now we can do some like Lego like rock climbing. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a massive mess to clean up right here, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I also want to thank my uh, little RC car. I mean, should I say big RC car for doing all the dirty work in this video. Actually, you know what? It was 50% him, 50% me, because I had to build the whole entire obstacle course. But guys, before you guys go, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this on the channel. This took me like four to five hours to set up, but I think it was totally worth it. It was so much fun. I'd love to make a part two to this where we make it more insane. I have about 400 more Legos, so we could probably do like two or three more ramps, or we could just make like one giant ramp with all 1,200 Legos. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section below, but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new video.